I think OpenNet is a good fit to our culture. The way we work very fast, often, my team, uh, and sometimes we have to change things very fast as well, and we need a partner who can go with us through such a way of working. And uh, OpenNet, I think, has the right attitude. A lot of our, um, a lot of our customers um, see OpenNet as a partner, and we see them as a partner. Um, and that's critical because the engagement that we have with our, with our partners, it's a long-term relationship. And it's not a short-term one. And based on that is that need to have a working model right the way through how we, how we sell, how we deliver, how we operate, and how we evolve to support their business needs because their business needs keep changing. They need a partner that works with them and recognizes their challenges, pivots around that, and is flexible enough to engage. We are still quite heavy on-prem, and uh, that's where we really want to do this change. One of the biggest pieces in there is uh, the online charging system and the voucher management system, uh, which is the piece that we are tackling now with this big project with, that we do with OpenNet. I believe that uh, the structure of the software, that it is uh, microservices, that it is split into many components, makes it very lightweight. That gives us flexibility when we want to increase, when we want to maybe connect another country, or when we have more scale and things like that. Uh, so we're happy that uh, OpenNet gave us a clear path towards 5G. It will still be a while uh, before we employ that, uh, but for us it will be important because uh, the mobile industry will be dominated uh, with 5G over the next couple of years. The world is changing dramatically. Um, 5G is driving a huge amount of change. The drivers for this change around the need for speed and agility um, to underpin their business is demanding uh, operators to embrace new models and new ways of working. Um, and cloud is definitely one of them. 5G is enabling service providers to pick the best um, solution for our particular functions right across their network. Uh, and OpenNet is a specialist in that. We are specialists within the domain of, of monetization and control. A brain-like function on the network that if you don't get that right, and if you can't pick the right supplier, um, then you're gonna be at a disadvantage. So 5G, the standards are facilitating it. It's giving operators a choice to move away from the traditional uh, by you know, everything from the one vendor to pick the, 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 the right fit for their business. Um, and delighted that Lavara picked OpenNet in the form of that monetization function for all of their 5G services going forward. With OpenNet, uh, I think we, we can establish a real partnership because I think that a similar way of, of working. OpenNet really signed the contract and then focused on delivering. Uh, they have, in the last X months, not come back to say, hey, we have another idea for this project or whatever. No, they first focused on delivery um, and work with us on that one and then we can do uh, more fun business together. I like that approach. We see it very much as a long-term partnership because we don't plan over the next probably even decade or something uh, to, to switch again because we don't want to run another upgrade project, another exchange of the online charging system uh, projects. We just want to uh, use that software to the maximum benefit of our customers. We're super excited about the, uh, the engagement with Torsten and, and, and the wider team, both the technology side of the team, but the business side of the team as well, because um, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a new journey. The, the energy and the creativity and the wanting to do things differently and to build their business for change, um, because it will change, um, is great. And the, the attitude, the approach has been a perfect match for our culture as well.